We know as women that we have to prioritize self-pleasure. And it's an easy thing to say, and there's so many products, and everyone's talking about all their great orgasms, but where do you touch yourself? There are so many erogenous zones on the vulva that it can be overwhelming. Yes, and I think women go for the clit first. So, Carolyn, in your experience, is that where we should start? No, that's where you end. (laughs) The clitoral (laughs) gland itself has 10,000 nerve endings. Mm-hmm. So when we go right on the clit, sometimes, oh, it's too much. Right. You have to work up to it. It's like when you kiss someone and they just cram their tongue down your throat and you're like, oh, whoa, too much. <laughs> you start slowly. Mm-hmm. So let's go over the areas where you can start. And a lot of this is going to be hit or miss. Every woman is different. Right, right. So you experiment and you you try your own preferences and you discover what you like best. So the clitoral shaft It's that little ligament that attaches the clitoral gland to the pubic bone. You'll find it. You take two fingers, go above your clitoris, go side to side. You feel like a rubber band. Mm -hmm. If I had to pick one spot that all women like, it's the clitoral shaft. And same with me. I always start there first. That's why we like the wishbone when we put our fingers in between our inner Mm -hmm. and outer labia or playing with our labia because we're kind of pulling down. There's movement. It's indirect clitoral stimulation. Yes. And so I, my teenage masturbation technique, just one more is like on either side of the clitoral shaft. And I just, love that one. Flutter your fingers up and down. It indirectly moves the clitoral glands, but it's, it it's, yeah, it's not as intense and Ooh, that feels so good. Yeah. And don't forget your labia. Yes. Post-birth, my outer labia are very sensitive. So what does that mean? I do a massage with my hands. Then I might take the the head of my wand and just put it at the top right for me is more sensitive. And Mm -hmm. I go on the left Mm -hmm. and I'm like, which one's better? And I like to mix it up. But for some reason, the right just brings it home for me. Right. Well, and experiment too with the clitoral shaft. I mean, just with one finger, you'll find that the right side or left side is more sensitive. And you'll That's it. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, you know, you have you know, right-handed or your left-handed, there'll be one side of your body that seems to have you know, yeah. like more f- sensation. Right. Yeah. Your inner labia, mm-hmm. they're so soft. They're like rose petals and you can stroke them. You can kind of just slightly pull them out and see how it feels. Maybe just press them a little bit, go mm-hmm. up and down the length of them. Um, very sensitive. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. The perineum is another area that that space between your vagina and your anal opening can also be super sensitive. And I know, Carlin, you talked about after giving birth, that was your mother's reward. Yes. In between orgasms, I just put my vibrator right down there. There's erectile Mm -hmm. tissue in your perineum Mm -hmm. and it feels really nice. And then there's the vaginal opening. Mm -hmm. There are so many nerve endings right outside and we call it playing at the hole. Take your fingers and trace it. You know, take, if you're using a toy, you can just play, just go in and out, in and out. It feels so nice. And then the vagina kind of gets the signal like, oh, something's happening and it starts to lubricate. Right, exactly. The Bartholin glands are right there at at the vaginal opening. So when you play at the hole, that helps get you lubricated. Um, There are more nerve endings in the vaginal Mm. opening than there are inside the vagina. So look at it that way. I mean, that's that's the place where you're going to get a lot of sensitivity. So hands, vibrators, toys to insert, all these things just add. And you play with it and you take the time and you explore. You can't break it and you can't screw it up. Yes, yes. I want to add one more place, which is where I like oh, to start, oh, right? oh. <laughs> the inguinal crease. Oh, yes. How did yes. I forget this? It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. It's the place where the thigh meets your body, where the thigh meets your vulva. It's that crack. And so, you know, with your fingers or your hands, I, sometimes I just run up and down the crease. Mm-hmm. You know, with lube, I press in because what's under there? The legs of your internal clitoris right? Because the legs of your t- internal clitoris attach to your pelvic bone. So, you know, when you're massaging right there, that's just such a great, it's like, Ooh, you know, you're scratching this like deep itch. So I like to start there and you can use your hands. You can use your vibrator. I like to make like a big circle all the way around, like from the mons on top of my vulva, all the way down the inguinal crease to the perineum and just these big circles with the vibrator or with my hands. Move from the outside in. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is the inguinal crease, almost all of my clients will always say, oh, I love that area. I never thought of that spot. And Mm -hmm. it's starting, it's kickstarting your blood flow. And that's what orgasm is about. It's just about building up enough blood flow and all that erectile tissue that you can have that orgasm, just like a man. Um, So have fun explore, keep a little orgasm journal and write down if you have a part that's sensitive, be like, oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta make mm-hmm. sure I hit that. Play with the order with which you move. You like move in from the outside in, but there might be a little routine that starts. Yes. Yes. Notice what feels good and keep doing more of that. 